Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back and thank you for your continuous support. This is my other platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. And I post videos weekly, so subscribe and turn the notification button if you want to know when I post any new video. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you all about measures of central tendency. So I'm going to teach you how to calculate the mean, the mode, the median and the range. And if you'd like a worksheet to practice the work that is covered in this video, you will find it in the description box below, along with a link to my website if you want to see what other services I offer. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, so let me teach you about the measures of central tendency. So before we start, let me just explain what this is. Measures of central tendency, this means if I have a data set, right? When I look, there's different ways of looking at what is the middle, what is the average, you know, what, what deductions can I actually make from this data, okay? So the mean, the mode, and the median are three ways for you to see what is the measures of the central tendency of the specific data set. Okay, so when we say measures of central tendency, we mean mean, mode, and median. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to calculate each. So firstly, let's understand mean. Means that I am taking, is also known as the average, right? So I'm taking all the values I have in, dot, in a data set, and I'm dividing it by the amount of values that are in that data set. Okay, so let's look. Calculate the mean for the following data set. So in the first one, I've got six values, right? So when we're calculating the mean, we always add all the values together and then divide it by how many values actually appear, right? So I've got, I've added all six values and then I divide it by six because I've got six values, okay? And therefore, the mean for the first data set it will be 656 divided by six, which is then 109.3. And you all, all notice that when you look at the data set, your answer should resemble more or less the center of the data. Okay, let's look at B. Again, we're calculating the mean. So what does the mean mean? We're calculating the average. So we're adding all the values together. So I'm taking all of these. So I've got two 13s, four 14s, one 15, six 16s, and 17, two 17s. So I could just say 13 times 2 plus 14 times 4 plus 15 plus 16 times 6, however many times these um, values appear, and then divided by the amount of numbers we have in the data set. Now in this data set, we've got 15 values. So we add those top values together, divided by 15, and your answer will be 15.1. And if I look at the data set, it does um, sort of reflect the center of that data. Okay. So that's how you calculate the mean. The median now is always the center value, the central value, the value that's in the middle. So if you um, place your numbers in ascending order, then you can count and use your fingers to actually move to see what is the center value. So let's, for the same data sets now, calculate the median. Now this is the center value. So if I look here, I've got these are the two on the end. And then I've got these two on the second last. And then these two here are actually the values that's in the middle of the data set because these are in ascending order. So when you've got two numbers that's in the middle of a data set, then you would add those values together, right? And then divide it by two. So I've got 108 plus 109 divided by two, and that will give me 108.5. So that is the median for the data set in A. Now let's try and find the median for the data set in B. Again, if I look, I have to literally move from the edges, right? I see I've got, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so I've got these two still. So the middle one there will be this 16. So again, it would help if you keep your right hand's pointed finger on the end and your left hand pointed finger at the lowest value and move each one together right up until you get to the center. Okay, so now we have the center. There's only one value here, so we don't need to do any calculations. So all you have to write there for B 
be 16. Okay, so that's how, so the mode, we add all the values together and divide by the amount of values there is in the data set. And then median, we arrange the values in ascending order if it is not. And then we try and find the center. If we have two centers, we add them together and divide by two. If we have one center, then that constitutes as our answer. Okay, let's look at mode. And mode is usually the easiest one to identify. Mode refers to the value or the values that appear the most. Okay, so again, let's go to the same data set. If I look at the first one, do you see there's no number that is being repeated? So there isn't a number that appears the most that I see in this data set. So for A, I won't have any mode. Okay, then for B, I see, okay, I've got four 14s, but I've got six 16s. So 16 is the number that appears the most in this data set. So that means that, that would, my answer for this would then be 16. Okay, now let's try. So let me just refresh your memory before we go. Me, uh, a mean is all the numbers added together divided by the amount of numbers in the data set. Median is the number in the middle once we've arranged the data in ascending order. And then mode is the value that appears the most. Now I want you to pause the video here and I want you to try and find the mean, the median and the mode for both of these data sets to see if you're on the right track. And when you're done, unpause the video and, you can, and I'll give you the answers so that you can see if you are on the right track. Okay, so let's see. For your first one, our mean is 105.5. The median, the middle numbers was 106 and it was two of them. So you'd add them together, divide by two and you get 106 there. And in the mode, the number that appeared the most in this data set was 107. Okay, second data set. Right here, we had to arrange this in ascending order. Okay, so it's important that you take a look at the decimal places especially. Okay, because that would have, told, that would have told you in um, which values are smaller and which values are larger. So before we can calculate anything, we always put them in ascending order. Okay. Right, so the mean, if I add all these values together, I, the mean will then be 13.6. The median is the two middle values. In this case was 13 and 14. Right, so the half of that, or adding together, divide by 2, will give me 13.5. And then the value that appears the most in this data set, we have two values that appear twice. Right, sorry, two values that appear three times. So it's 12.5 as well as 13. So for the mode, we would write both of them down. Okay, and that is our lesson on measures of central tendency. All right, so there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any recommendations for future videos, please add it in the comment section below. Then, reminder, if you want to know what other um, services I offer or if you want a worksheet to practice the work that was covered in this video, you can find that in the description box below. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video till the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!